what is good youtube and welcome back to maniachi games welcome to wwe 2k22 universe mode man now listen i know y'all see the title and you wondering why episode one now listen as i explained in my previous videos man now listen life has been very crazy and i honestly feel like i i hey i lacked on wwe 2k22 universe mode the last series man i'll admit that and i just feel like you know what we a few months out from wwe 2k24 and y'all want more content like this so look i restarted my universe mode now look we gonna we gonna kick it off a few weeks before the royal run we pretty much in real time right now as to real life wwe man so look we a few weeks out from the royal rumble one of my biggest goals in this series is to make it to wrestlemania man now listen i'm gonna do all i can and i'm, I'm gonna customize this wrestlemania is gonna look completely different it's gonna be wrestlemania hollywood so we still gonna do raw nxt and smackdown now you guys can pause this video right now to check out the raw roster because this episode right here is episode one monday night raw so this universe mode will have no correlation to my previous series i'm pretty much starting from scratch man so these are the championships on raw we got the world heavyweight championship we got the raw women's championship the raw tag team championships the intercontinental title and of course the women's tag team championship will be spread out through all three brands so i mean you guys might see some things here and there that might have still some correlation to my last universe mode series man but i really want to get to wrestlemania before 2k24 comes out so without further ado this is what we got planned for tonight's show episode one of the new universe mode series man we gonna kick it off by crowning a new raw women's champion man we got the est bianca belair bailey becky lynch and the queen charlotte flair fatal four-way first pinfall or submission wins the match and wins the raw women's championship moving on man look we got two individuals with a lot of history with each other Big E and Dolph Ziggler battle it out to see who wins the Intercontinental Championship. Two former Intercontinental Champions going at it. Only one can leave with that title and then check this out, man. In the main event tonight, talk about Star Studded. We got Seth Rollins, Edge, Randy Orton, Brock Lesnar, the Tribal Chief Roman Reigns. This is a fatal five-way elimination style match winner of this wins the world heavyweight championship we got five former world champions battling it out man listen it's the road to wrestlemania baby we ain't doing no more talking man let's start the show let's go now look the arena is still the same these are my customized arenas they are available on community creations and i know y'all see i'm dressed to impress for the occasion now stop playing it's monday night raw baby welcome to death row where we at we in charlotte north carolina and what better way to kick it off than with some women's action and what i should say we in we in the queen city man we in charlotte's hometown now I didn't know we was going to be in Charlotte tonight, man. Now, Charlotte got to win this match, man. But nonetheless, we got the EST, Miss Bianca Belair. She running the women's division right now in the WWE. Can she do the same here in my universe mode, man? You know, I would not mind whoever wins this, man. I'm 100% I'm okay with them leading the women's division, man. It's WrestleMania season. I want to make sure we have the biggest wrestlemania here in wwe 2k22 now the same rules apply to my previous universe mode series i do not play any of these matches so whoever wins wins this is a cpu operated universe mode of course storylines will be created via the outcomes of these matches man i have no idea who's winning the raw women's title who's winning the intercontinental title who's winning the world heavyweight championship next episode of raw i don't know who's gonna win the raw tag team championships come on man i know y'all see the customized attires too man i'm trying to trying to keep it keep it updated as i can man so pretty much 
WWE 2K24, it hasn't been announced yet at the time of this recording. But I'm assuming it's coming out around WrestleMania time. If I can get to WrestleMania, at least do the WrestleMania event on this Universe Mode series, then we can kick off 2K24 Universe Mode from the beginning, from, you know, post-WrestleMania. That's I really want to continue this Universe Mode into WWE 2K24 pretty much to summarize it, man. But nonetheless, we got Bayley, man. One-fourth of the four horsewomen. How y'all feel about... Sasha Banks going out to New Japan Pro Wrestling, man. She overseas now, man. You know, I, I do expect Sasha Banks to be back with the WWE at some point, man. I think she kind of just, you know, putting the fishing rod out there, see what she can catch, man. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm all for it, man. But staying up to 1, 2 a.m., I don't know, Sasha. I might have to catch you on the flip side on that, man. Catch you on the recap. And we got the man Becky Lynch. Another member of the infamous Four Horse Women. Now, Becky Lynch is all about making history. All about making history. One of the first three women of main event WrestleMania, and that's Charlotte, Ronda, and Becky match at WrestleMania 35. Looking to make some more history here in my universe mode. And once again, become Raw Women's Champion. I know y'all see her dripped out. Of course, her of course her hubby Seth Rollins is gonna be dripped out in the main event for the world heavyweight title. But she dripped out herself in this bout for the Raw Women's Championship. Now, what all three of these ladies need to realize, what they need to realize is we in Flair Country in this episode of Universe Mode, man. I appreciate all y'all for tuning in. Come on now. Let's see, man. And Charlotte, not really getting the hometown welcome that I thought she would get. But nonetheless, the queen is in the building. Charlotte looking to become a 15-time women's champion. She creeping up on Pops right now, man. Now, listen, last night I actually got a chance to check out that Ric Flair documentary on Peacock. Becoming Ric Flair, man. It was dope. Long as hell, but it was dope, though, man. I rocked with it. You know, Ric Flair, of course, a legend. His daughter, Charlotte. I would say following in his footsteps, but she really creating a legacy for herself. Look at this. Now, it's the entrance fitting for the queen in her hometown. Can you imagine if Charlotte don't walk out of here with the bag? She would have fumbled this opportunity, man. So, here we go, man. Three weeks out from the Royal Rumble. Um, I know it wasn't on the calendar, but NXT, I'll explain more on the NXT episode. But it will be two weeks out from NXT's first event. More details will be coming on that on the uh, next episode of Universe Mode. But this is Monday Night Raw, man. This is episode one of this new, uh, I ain't gonna say improved, pretty much the same, but just starting from scratch. Just so we can get to WrestleMania Universe Mode, man. All four of these women have you know, this is three-fourths of the four horsewomen in this match. But a lot of these women, all of them have history with one another. They've defeated one another, won championships over one another, made a event at WrestleMania against one another at some point. Here we go, man. I'm ready for this. I want to see who walking out with the gold. I got to see who walking out with that title. Y'all hear that? EST chants. And we ain't talking G. Now, hold on. We not talking ESTG either. We in Flair country and they cheering Bianca. Oh, Charlotte ain't going to like that. But that's what it's all about, man. The Raw Women's Championship. And I know y'all probably saying, you know, last Universe Mode, I had my own customized uh, Women's World Championship um, that I downloaded from Community Creations. I wanted to kind of bring more variety to championships, but I, I'm kind of like, you know, you know, I'm a ruthless aggression attitude there, big fan of, you know, just the variety of the titles, man. But I, I guess I'll call it with the Raw and SmackDown titles. But nonetheless, though, here we go. Bailey after Charlotte, a lot of history with them, too. Of course, Becky and Bianca main event at WrestleMania this past year against one another. And now look at this. Look at this. Got that girl choked up there. Come on now, Bianca. First pinfall submission ends the match. 
time here for these women. Like I said, a lot of history with each other. Got to have eyes in the back of your head in a match like this. Now look at Bianca looking to display that strength, but oh! Suplex City to Charlotte. And Charlotte's out of the equation for the time being. Belly to back suplex from Bailey. Now this is smart strategy now, and Bianca getting distracted. Got to keep your eyes on your opponent now, Bianca. This match can be over in a, in, a, in a heartbeat. Oh, tying up on the ropes. Now look at Becky over here trying to shoot. She's playing to the crowd right now. That's what the man do, getting flashy with it. Got to let the people know that you're here. Make a statement. Now look at, oh, Charlotte back into the equation. Bailey, oh, heavy offense. And now Becky. Match is now a triple threat match for the time being. Now look at this. This is this is a mistake. Don't pander to the crowd now. And a German suplex to Miss Bianca Belair. And Charlotte trying to get some momentum going from her hometown, but they ain't feeling it. You thought they was feeling it, Charlotte? Come on now. And now Bailey. Bailey just she giving everybody the works, man. I ain't even gonna lie. And I look at Charlotte. Charlotte, talk about a high octane move right there. That's Charlotte right there. And I already, already, figure four. Leg lock locked in. It's Flair Country into the figure eight. Is Bianca gonna tap already? Is Bianca gonna tap? Bianca's in trouble. She in trouble. She in trouble. Nobody's breaking it up. But Bianca, she fights out of it on her own. She fought out of the figure eight. This is the same move that ended Oscar's undefeated streak at WrestleMania 34. Now, wait a minute. Keep your eye on Bailey. Keep your eye on Bailey. Trying to sneak out with it. No, Becky kicks out. Oh, man. Oh, Bianca just ate a boot. Luckily got to the ropes. Now, listen, in the main event tonight, this is... This is the first pinfall submission ends the match, but tonight in the main event for the world title, it's all about, and look at this cross arm bar. She got Becky Lynch's move on her. The disarmor is on Becky from Bailey. In the main event tonight, it's, it's oh, wait a minute, look, look, another figure eight. And, and Becky, Becky sees it and breaks it up. But as I was saying, the main event tonight, and look at this action, just don't stop. Go. And Bailey. Looking for it. But Charlotte got a pin on two. Bailey just won the title. Charlotte didn't see it. Charlotte's pissed. Yo, we got a new Raw Women's Champ. Charlotte was too busy on her, on her opponent with Bianca. She didn't even see Bailey went for the pin on Becky. And how ironic. The end of this match ended like that in Charlotte, North Carolina. She had her back turned. She thought the ref was counting for her. Well, she thought wrong. Congratulations, Bailey. Once again, at the top of the mountain, once again, Raw Women's Champion. I could dig it. I could dig it for sure. On a night of crowning new champions, we got another championship match, man. This one is for the very prestigious Intercontinental title and ladies and gentlemen welcome the show off mr Dolph ziggler now Dolph ziggler one of the most impressive intercontinental champions of the last 15 years i will have to admit it man this man can sell any move make anybody look like money all about cashing checks and winning championships Dolph ziggler man you know he, he really the mvp of the WWE, been around for some time, even branched out and won the NXT Championship. Come on, man. This man is all about business, but this match here tonight has a little more of a sentimental meaning for the show off. Now listen, it was Dolph Ziggler who brought Big E into the WWE back in 2012. Now Big E's career has come full circle. He's won the WWE Championship, Money in the Bank, Looking to add, once again, Intercontinental Champion to his resume. 
who could forget WrestleMania 29, Biggie and Dolph Ziggler against Team Hell No, Daniel Bryan and Kane at WrestleMania 29. Now we heading into WrestleMania 39, this universe mode. One of these men will add another intercontinental title to their repertoire. Now the New Day is Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods are on SmackDown, so the New Day, they're not a trio here in this universe mode, man. And the crowd here tonight is Charlotte. New Day rock chance, man. It's all about the Intercontinental title, man. You know, talk about the Hall of Famers that held that title, man. Alexa, Shawn Michaels, the late Razor Ramon. Man, I'm telling you, just so, so, so many guys have held this championship. A lot of my favorites, man. Personal childhood favorites growing up, Shelton Benjamin. You know, Rob Van Dam. Here we go. These two also held it. Still to come this episode, we crowned a new world heavyweight champion in the main event tonight. Who's going to be world champion heading into WrestleMania season, heading into the Royal Rumble? Three weeks out from the Rumble. Talk about how much momentum. Oh, belly to belly. Big E looking at it already. Dolph Ziggler had the wind knocked out of him. That's a big boy to do that to you. Now, hold on. And look at this strength from Big E. Talk about the prestige of the Intercontinental title. Like I said, you hold that championship, you pretty much solidifying a Hall of Fame spot, a Hall of Fame career. And Dolph now sweeping Big E off his feet without the Valentine's Day gift and a Russian leg sweep. Dolph has done it all. Former World Heavyweight Champion, also won Money in the Bank. The show off. And oh! Got that boy seeing red with a super kick, and now Dolph tuning up the band. Hold on, Big E, watch out, watch out, watch out. Sweet chin music. Somebody call HBK. Somebody call HBK. Ain't no way this match gonna end like this already. No way. Yo, okay, Big E, Big E kicked out. I was about to say. Crowd here tonight, feeling it. Dolph Ziggler got a lot of momentum. Big E seeing red, but a lot of times that could backfire. That's like a shark tasting blood. Big E low key might turn up on Dolph. A lot of look at this. Hold on, premonition coming true. Shoulder tackle taking down the show off. Tasting his own blood, that adrenaline going and flowing. Ground and pound action, Big E, don't get him mistaken. He could be joking and funny. But hey, when he, when he turn it up, he can turn it up, man. He can turn it up for sure. Ain't no way. Look at this. That's a grown man. That's a grown man. Yo, just picked him up like a cabbage patch style. And now Big E, Irish whip to Ziggler. Oh, tried to take Ziggler to the outside. But Ziggler, no. Catches a kick to the gut. Brought back down to the ground. And Big E now shoulders down, legs hook. Big E walking out, no. Big E could imagine one big ending could spill it. Speaking of big ending, I didn't even know he was going to hit that shoulders down, legs hook on the show off. In trouble, Big E. He got to work on this new Intercontinental Champ. That's the thing about these universe modes, man. You never know when the match is gonna end. You don't know who's gonna win. We got a new Intercontinental Champion. Big E, once again, got some gold around his waist as Dolph Ziggler is leaving disappointed.
That was a big statement from Dolph Ziggler. Guaranteeing a Royal Rumble win. As far to the point that he put his career on the line. But we got to switch gears, man. Drip God is in the building. I know y'all see the drip. Downloaded this from Community Creations on the PS5. Now look, whoever made this, y'all did y'all thing on this. This is our main event for the World Heavyweight Championship. Seth Rollins. Although he is a former WWE World Heavyweight Champion, he has never held big gold. He's never held big gold. Imagine that drip around the waist of Seth Rollins. Heading into WrestleMania season. I, I still can't. So Dolph Ziggler put his career on the line at the Royal Rumble. My man. Guaranteeing a Royal Rumble win. It's hard to switch gears from that, man. Dolph Ziggler's been in the, the WWE a very, very long time. You know, and just to imagine that it could all come to an end in just three weeks' time at the first ever premium live event in my universe mode, the Royal Rumble. Road to WrestleMania is kicking up, man. And we got the ultimate opportunist. The rated R superstar, when you think of the world heavyweight title, this man's name better be in your mind. Now Edge has done it all in the WWE. Hall of Famer, as he is on the, the latter end of his career, no pun intended. He just wants to add one more championship to sum it up. Now remember, 2011, Edge had to retire due to a career-ending injury. He was world heavyweight champion at that time. Since then, he has never been able to regain that title. That's what makes this match a must-win for the ultimate opportunist. He had to relinquish this championship. This is a title that Edge never lost. It's like that. It's like that. Now, this is an elimination style match. Y'all remember my universe mode last time. Edge almost won a WWE title in the same similar match in this fashion, but didn't. I wonder if he could do it again, but this time come away with the gold. And speaking of a veteran, speaking of the World Heavyweight Championship, how about the youngest World Heavyweight Champion in history? Randy Orton, SummerSlam 2004 at the age of 24, defeated yeah, to win the World Heavyweight title Go, in Toronto, Canada. Randy Orton, ever since that night, man, he has been doing his thing in the WWE. I hope, in all seriousness, that Randy Orton can return from this injury that he's currently facing and give us at least one last good world title run, man. I'll be all for it, man. The voices in his head, they talking to him. I think they telling him that tonight might just be his night to once again reach the top of the mountain. He goes by a lot of names. The legend killer, Apex Predator. But can he also go by World Heavyweight Champion by the end of the night? Now, this is an all-star match pretty much, man. All these guys, man. They're at the top of the mountain, which is why I put them in this match. If we want to have one of the biggest WrestleManias in Universe Mode history, you know, I trust. No matter who wins this match, I trust that they will carry the Raw brand into WrestleMania. Business about to pick up, man. The Beast Incarnate. Brock Lesnar is in the building. Brock Lesnar, he ain't going for nothing. When he come into the ring, he mean business. He not here to make friends. He's not here to shake hands. He's here to beat ass. 
Belt to ass, man. Straight like that. Now, Brock Lesnar has held the World Heavyweight Championship before. Remember, SummerSlam 2014. The night that a lot of people say Super Cena died. He beat the hell out of John Cena. And look at Brock. He just stalking the ring. Talk about the confidence of the former UFC champion. Youngest WWE champion in history. This man has defeated the likes of The Undertaker. Ending the streak at WrestleMania. He's always had The Undertaker's number. Defeated John Cena. I'm saying pulmerized Randy Orton. Like, come on, man. You name it, this man has done it. You name him, this man has beat him. Brock Lesnar. Let's go, man. This elimination style. This is the main event, baby. Oh, man. I'll be, I'll be cool with whoever wins this, man. But ladies and gentlemen, I need the ones up. If you're watching, put your ones up. I can see if you're doing it or not. Go ahead, do it. I said put the one up. Because it's time to acknowledge him. Our tribal chief, Roman Reigns. Now, speaking of Roman Reigns, speaking of the bloodline, breaking news. Next week on Raw Universe Mode or whenever the episode is posted, it will be the Usos against the mystery team to crown new Raw Tag Team Champs. And hopefully for this man, Roman Reigns, he's World Heavyweight Champion heading into next week. Y'all see the shirt, greatness on a different level. This man says he stays in God mode, record setting universal champion. No one else has done what Roman Reigns has done. Stepped into the ring with the best, beating the best from John Cena to The Undertaker, Triple H, Brock Lesnar, you name him, Roman Reigns has slain him. It's like that. Now Roman Reigns has a lot of ties to all individuals in this match. Who could forget the multiple WrestleMania matches with Brock Lesnar? Who could forget the Shield alongside Seth Rollins? Roman Reigns defeat Randy Orton at SummerSlam 2014. You know, pretty much planned his flag that he's here to stay. Roman Reigns, WrestleMania 37, stacking Edge up on top of Daniel Bryan to retain the Universal title. Roman Reigns has history with everyone in this. But can Roman Reigns be the head of not just the table, but the head of the roster? Will Raw be Reigns? Will Reigns win the World Heavyweight title here tonight? Here we go. We ain't got to wait no longer. Let's go. Now, the reason I didn't put the Universal Championship in my Universe mode, I've always been a fan. This is my favorite championship. Now, y'all see it behind me. This is actually the uh, WCW World Heavyweight Championship that I got behind me. I wanted to buy this one, but it was sold out at the time, man. But I just love the way it looked. Big gold. No title is touching big gold, man. But here we go. Nonetheless, Seth Rollins already. Yo, ain't no way Seth Rollins curve stomp on Reigns. No. He just RKO'd Rollins. Randy, you see that? Yo. Action all over the place, man. Fatal five-way rules. Elimination occurs by pinfall or submission to Randy Orton. Going after Brock. Orton, what I should say, oh, Orton looked for RK on Brock. Yo, I can't believe Seth tried to, he tried to take Roman out from the jump. It's all about the world title, RK on Brock. Brock just ate RK, oh, ain't no way. Can you imagine? Oh, man, if Brock Lesnar would have been eliminated first. Yo, action all over the place, man. Talk about a shield, brother. You tried to take him? Out. He hit. Like, whoa, 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 whoa. Brock, Brock. Got Orton. F5. F5 on Randy Orton. Turn around, ref counted. 
Orton luckily got to the ropes. And now Brock shades of SummerSlam 2016 when he busted Randy Orton open. That was a gruesome scene. And Seth Rollins slayed the beast at WrestleMania 35 to win the Universal title. Look at this action everywhere, Orton. Look at this. Look at this. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Got it locked in, got it locked in. Orton, if he passes out and taps out, he's eliminated. And look at Seth. This is elimination style. This is elimination style of Orton. Oh. Early on in the match, able to get out of it. Man, we've seen RKO's, we've seen F5's, almost curve stumps. And speaking of stumps, the infamous Randy Orton stumps onto Roman. And Edge. Man, so much action, you can't really even keep up with. Orton now going for the cover on Roman. After the lethal stumps on Roman, and Roman kicks out. No one has been eliminated yet. And Orton, Orton, RKO! No. No. Oh, and Roman kicked out. Wow. It's like, you know I say? I mean, people are going to have to get eliminated, but I couldn't imagine Roman being eliminated that quick. Swinging that breaker from Randy Orton. Edge is out of, outside of the ring. And Seth, talk about some history with Edge. Remember when Edge was retired, he threatened to, 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 to end Edge's life pretty much. He was wilding on that. What's Seth? What, what? Seth, I don't know what Seth thinking. But maybe he think, oh, whatever it was, Randy Orton saw it coming. And Orton, ooh, planting Seth Rollins. Randy Orton on a mission. On a mission. And a spear! Reigns didn't even see the spear coming. In trouble, Roman Reigns is eliminated. What? I mean, it was only so much Roman could withstand. He got RKO's and stumps to the spear. It's only so much he could have withstood. But we're down to four. Oh, man. I thought Roman was going to win this. Orton's busted open. Talk about the history. Rated RKO. Who can forget that? Oh! Bro, they really eliminated Roman. That's crazy. Oh, Suplex City! Suplex City! To the King Slayer, the Beast Slayer, Seth Rollins. These two as an Orton. Personal rivalry that they had with each other in the past. Now, Brock. Rock, oh! He's throwing Seth Rollins around. Shifting his attention to Randy Orton. Orton, not going for none of that. Seth Rollins, throwing edge in the ring. One of these four men will be new World Heavyweight Champion. Oh, drop kick from my ultimate opportunist. Looking to take another opportunity and another superstar out of this match. Spear to Seth Rollins. Rollins, he in trouble. Edge almost had his second elimination. Almost had his second elimination. And now Edge, Edge bust. Edge, look, when Edge get desperate, he do things like that. Edge but opening Rollins up. This is our main event tonight, episode one. Oh. Seth Rollins. I don't know what Rollins looking for. Oh, wait a minute. Looking for the curve stomp on Edge. And Edge in trouble from Seth. And Edge kicked out. And ground and pound action on the outside. RKO again. Rollins just ate another RKO. And oh, Edge tried to go for a spear. Got a knee to the face. 
And Seth, oh, looking for the stunt. Brock Lesnar got in his way. Lesnar got in his way. And speaking of Brock, Brock looking for the F5. Oh, Randy. Orton, Orton got the ropes though. Rope break, Orton got the ropes. He would have for sure been done. But Brock, Brock got another F5 in him. Another F5, oh. That's it. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. No. How? Two F5s and Brock looking for a third, looking for a trifecta. Looking for a trifecta. This time again. Third time's a charm, but Orton got the ropes again. Orton had God on his side. That's all I'm going to say. And Seth tossed it outside of the ring. Brock seeing red. He got to be. Got to be seeing red at this point. Come on, Orton. I don't know if Orton got anything left in him. He just, he just ate three F5s from Brock. And hit Brock with an RKO. Out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. Brock. No, Brock kicked out. He said, talk about drop kicks, man. Nobody hits a better drop kick than Randy Orton. And a better RKO than Randy Orton. Seth, out of nowhere again. Seth is eliminated. We are down to three. Edge. Oh, spear on Randy. Out of nowhere. Randy is eliminated. We are down to two. Either Edge or Brock Lesnar. One Hall of Famer and another future Hall of Famer. One of these men walking out as new World Heavyweight Champion can Edge fulfill his prophecy and win back the title that he never lost. And Brock just having his way. He having his way. This is dangerous. This is dangerous for Edge. Look at the strength of Brock. This is dangerous. But if it's one thing about the ultimate opportunist, never count Edge out. He, he measured Brock for a spear. Go for it, Edge. Come on, climb that mountain one more time. Edge is the new world heavyweight champion. It's like that. He did it. He did it. Yo, this was a crazy match. This was a crazy match. Edge. At his big old age. Is once again world heavyweight champion. Ten years away. Almost ten years away, but he was able to climb to the top of the mountain. Appreciate y'all for tuning in.